Hi there. In this video series, we will be going over AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam tips useful for the exam. In this particular video, we will go over the difference between AWS Elastic Beanstalk versus AWS CloudFormation. Now first we need to understand is what AWS category of service does Elastic Beanstalk and AWS CloudFormation belong to. Now if you look at the left image over here, and as you can see in the product suite of offerings uh, under compute offering, AWS Elastic Beanstalk is a compute product and its use case is to help run and manage web apps. Whereas on the right, uh, under the various AWS products and under management and governance suite of offerings, AWS CloudFormation is a management and governance product and its use case is to create and manage resources with templates. Now let's understand this a bit more in detail. The main reason why businesses choose between AWS Elastic Beanstalk versus AWS CloudFormation, there are two particular benefits that they're going for. Number one, when it comes to AWS Elastic Beanstalk, the businesses just want to launch applications on AWS. They do not want to be bothered with the granular details of deploying resource on AWS. So businesses that seek just the higher level service to deploy web applications seek Elastic Beanstalk. Whereas businesses who clearly understand what resources they want to deploy on AWS but want to deploy it in a faster and speedier manner, they are seeking a lower level service for which they seek AWS CloudFormation. The second benefit that comes with AWS Elastic Beanstalk businesses are getting is convenience. They utilize the AWS platform as a service with Elastic Beanstalk so that AWS manages the granular, granular details of AWS resource deployment. However, with AWS CloudFormation, the businesses are seeking greater control and direct control to manage the granular details on AWS. Now, how is this done? The key differences to know between AWS Elastic Beanstalk and AWS CloudFormation for the exam. So what is Elastic Beanstalk? Elastic Beanstalk basically makes it easier for developers to quickly deploy and manage applications in AWS Cloud. Develop developers only need to upload their application and Elastic Beanstalk takes care of deploying EC2, auto-scaling and load balancing. Some of the features of AWS Elastic Beanstalk is number one, a wide selection. Elastic Beanstalk supports web applications written in many popular languages and frameworks such as Java, .NET, Node.js, and so on to deploy your web applications. Elastic Beanstalk, even though it's a platform as a service, it does allow customization. And with Elastic Beanstalk, you have the freedom to select the AWS resources. It allows you to open the hood and retain full control over the AWS resources powering your application. In case the business decides they want some or all the elements of your infrastructure and they want control over that, they can do so seamlessly by using Elastic Beanstalk's management capabilities. Finally, monitoring. Elastic Beanstalk provides a unified user interface to monitor and manage the health of your applications. The ideal deployment strategy for AWS Elastic Beanstalk is a blue-green strategy. Blue-green deployments enable you to launch a new version, which is the green version, uh, sorry, green of your application alongside the old version, which is blue, and monitor and test the new version before you reroute traffic to it, rolling back on issue detection. Now, AWS CloudFormation, what it does, it is ideal for businesses that seek greater control over resources deployed on cloud without compromising on speed and governance. So, it's a perfect low level service that provides perfect control over managing and provisioning your stack of resources based on te text templates. So you use JSON template to describe your desired resources and the dependencies. And using the template, you deploy similar resources as a single stack onto your AWS cloud account. Now, some of the features of AWS CloudFormation are extensibility. Using the AWS CloudFormation registry, you can model and provision third-party application resources alongside AWS resources. It allows for cross-account and cross-region management. So Cloud for, CloudFormation stack sets let you provision a common set of AWS resources across multiple accounts and regions with a single CloudFormation template. The benefit of AWS CloudFormation is authoring with JSON and YAML text. CloudFormation allows you to model your entire cloud environment in text files, thus allowing you to deploy infrastructure as a code. And also safety controls. CloudFormation automates provisioning and updating your infrastructure in a safe and controlled manner. 
It comes back with roll, rollback triggers to swiftly roll back the entire stack operation to a previously deployed state. So the ideal deployment strategy for AWS CloudFormation is blue-green strategy and also pre-baking. Uh, pre-baking is the process of embedding a significant portion of your application artifacts within an Amazon machine image. If your application relies heavily on customizing or deploying applications onto EC2 instances, then you can optimize your deployments through either bootstrapping and pre-baking. In this case, AWS CloudFormation uses pre-baking. So with this, we come to the end of this particular tip. In the next video, we will go over the difference between security group and network access control list, also known as NACLs, specifically for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. If you found this video useful, please subscribe or hit the like button and keep yourself notified for further videos. Thanks.